So I've had some people tell me that they miss the old videos from the old shed. So let's fix that. There we go. Just like that, we're back in the old shed. So is the Spyderco bench stone worth it? I've had some requests to review this stone, so let's take a look at it and see if it's worth the $111 this stone is selling for. To save you time, no, this stone is not worth $111. Let me show you why and also give you some much better options. So without getting into the exact differences between CBN and Diamond, what you need to know is that CBN and Diamond are exactly the same for hand, for freehand sharpening purposes. For freehand sharpening purposes, there's zero difference between diamond and CBN. The differences don't start to become apparent until you get into high speed, higher heat applications, which for freehand sharpening is a non-issue. If someone tells you that CBN and diamond are different for freehand sharpening purposes, have them email me and we'll have them on the channel for a freehand blind test between CBN and diamond and see if they can tell a difference. Now, when it comes to the CBN bench stone, the quality is not great. For one, this stone came with some significant burrs along the edges of the stone. These burrs, if you catch them with your knife, will completely screw up your bevel. Uh, there's just no denying that. And you could, I guess, dress these things with a ceramic belt, but for 111 bucks, these things should come perfect out of the box. The coarse side grit looks very consistent. We don't have any super crazy large particles also embedded into that coarse side, which on a coarse side really doesn't matter for profiling purposes. However, when we get to the fine side, we run into some serious issues. We have a serious issue with grit contamination on this stone. And personally, I have never seen a dual-sided plated stone with a coarse side and a fine side that did not have significant grit contamination issues on the fine side. So here we are side by side with the same exposure settings and as close as I can get to identical angles. And if I didn't have these labeled, you would not be able to tell the difference between the two. Those large grit scratches just throw everything completely off. And this is the main reason why I try to avoid dual-sided stones at all costs. That's not to say there isn't possibly a dual-sided diamond grit stone out there that doesn't have major grit contamination issues, but all the ones that I have ever tested have had major grit contamination issues on the fine side. So I hope this is a little more apparent, but on top we have the CBN course and the bottom we have the DMT fine. It may be hard to tell at first glance, but the DMT fine is definitely a finer, more consistent grit with very little contamination. And here's the DMT fine, and at the same magnification, here's the CBN fine. And you can definitely see that grit contamination. And to tell you the truth, this is really all you need to know about this stone. For $111, uh, you really don't get a lot for your money. You get a coarse stone, you get a coarse profiling stone with a fine profiling stone. There really isn't, in my opinion, any reason to go to the fine side on this stone. So you're just getting one coarse abrasive stone for profiling and that's it. And for $111, there's much better stones out there for that purpose, for a whole lot cheaper. So to tell you the truth, my advice is pretty simple. Why not just skip the problematic double-sided grit stone? and buy two single-sided stones for exactly the same price or even a little bit cheaper that don't have the grit contamination issues I mentioned about this stone. Or you could buy a cheap $20 coarse profiling stone and supplement this stone with a nicer stone like a Shapton or the DMT Fine and save yourself a little bit of money. So that's my quick review and I think it's time to leave the old shed behind for good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.